The Selfish Gene is a groundbreaking book written by renowned biologist Richard Dawkins, first published in 1976. This book revolutionized our understanding of evolution and the role of genes in shaping the natural world. Here is an informative summary that entirely explains the key concepts of the book. 1. Central Idea The selfish gene introduces the idea that genes are the fundamental units of natural selection, and their primary goal is to replicate themselves. Dawkins argues that organisms are essentially vehicles or survival machines that genes use to propagate themselves. This perspective challenges the traditional view of evolution, which often focused on the survival of species or individuals. 2. Gene-centered view. Dawkins proposes a gene-centered view of evolution, suggesting that the driving force behind natural selection is the differential survival and reproduction of genes. Genes that enhance their own chances of being passed on to the next generation will become more prevalent in a population. 3. Altruism and cooperation. Dawkins explores how seemingly altruistic behaviors, such as kin selection and reciprocal altruism, can be explained by the gene-centered perspective. He argues that acts of apparent selflessness can benefit the genes that promote them when they increase the overall genetic fitness of the individual's close relatives or social group. 4. Memes and Cultural Evolution Dawkins introduces the concept of memes, which are ideas, behaviors, or cultural elements that replicate and spread through human culture in a manner similar to genes. He argues that, like genes, Memes can undergo a form of natural selection and can influence human behavior and culture. 5. Replicators and Vehicles Dawkins distinguishes between replicators and their vehicles. Genes and memes are the replicators that undergo selection, while organisms and human brains are the vehicles that carry and propagate them. 6. Extended Phenotype In his later work, Dawkins extends the concept of the selfish gene to the extended phenotype which explores how genes can influence not only the traits of an organism but also the environment in which it lives. This expanded view helps explain complex interactions between genes, organisms, and their surroundings. 7. Criticisms and Controversies The selfish gene has generated both acclaim and controversy. Some critics argue that it oversimplifies the complexities of evolution, while others contest its reductionist approach to human behavior and culture. 8. Impact Dawkins' book has had a profound impact on biology, evolutionary psychology, and the public's understanding of evolution. It popularized the gene-centered view of evolution and introduced key concepts that continue to shape discussions in biology and related fields. In summary, The Selfish Gene by Richard Dawkins presents a compelling argument for the gene-centered view of evolution, highlighting the pivotal role of genes in driving natural selection. It challenges conventional wisdom and offers a new perspective on the mechanisms underlying the diversity of life on Earth. This thought-provoking book has left an indelible mark on the fields of biology and evolutionary science. We hope you found our video on the selfish gene helpful and informative. If you enjoyed it, please take a moment to show your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. You can find a link to the book in the description if you want to explore the topic further. Thank you for watching and connecting with us.